What's up YouTube? My name is Blair. In today's video, always put yourself in your client's shoes. Again, always put yourself in your client's shoes. Flat out. Stay tuned. All right, what's up, y'all? What's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, again, my name is Blair, and this is Momentum. On my channel, I talk about how to not stay stagnant, how to move forward with your life, mentally, physically, financially, etc. Um, today, I want to talk about putting yourself in your client's shoes. Um, I've been having some very interesting conversations lately, you know, about this. Let me ask you a question. When you are out there, if you're trying to buy a car, you're trying to buy that car at the lowest Price possible with the lowest interest rate. If you're trying to sell something, you're trying to sell something as high as you can get it. You know, you're trying to sell it for as high as you can get it, right? Now, if you know, if you're trying to sell your car, right? I'm not talking about a trade-in. I'm just talking about outright selling it. If you got three offers, which one are you going to take? You're going to take the offer that's the highest, hands down. Now, let's translate this to flipping medical commodities. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. If you are selling your medical commodities, right? And a person gives you a price, right? And then you find out you can get more. Like maybe 20 or $30 more a box. Consistently. And faster. How much loyalty are you going to have to the first person you told them to? I venture to guess, oh no, I, I'm going to take an educated guess and say, you're not going to stay around. You're going to go with that person that's giving you 20 to $30 more. It's just simple as that. You know, um, profit margins are okay. But you know where the real profit margin is? Do you know where the real profits are? The real profit is in loyalty. Again, the real profit is in loyalty. I would rather... Okay, let me ask you something. Would you rather pay a person 50% or 55% once or pay them 80 to 85% for the re remainder of the time that you are in this business. Because again, and I'm going to reiterate this and keep echoing this. Now, I'm going to show you a video of a purchase that I just made from one person. Now, for something like this, a person would be out of their minds to basically, hmm, come at her with 50%. 
you know, prophets are the real loyalty. You know, uh, people are out there in this business offering people prices for their boxes that they wouldn't even accept themselves if they knew there were other people out there. You know, people by nature are always wondering if they can get more. This is in anything. This is when you're selling anything across the board. What I'm saying is incontrovertible and irrefutable. <laughs> you know, I just had a conversation with someone and I was trying to tell him that if you're just coming at 50, 55, 60%, again, you're going to have people out there who think like me, who's going to snatch your clients. You know, it's just that simple. People are getting smarter. Clients and customers are getting smarter. They're getting a lot smarter. You know, again, I'm going to reiterate again. I've stolen at least 15 clients since I've reverted to low profit margins, high volume. You know, um, and, and that's fine. People don't have to agree with me. In fact, I would rather people not agree with me. You know, I'm humble, but, you know, and it's up to you how you want to run your business. You see what I'm saying? So, <laughs> if that's the way you want to do it, and that's fine. You know, that's fine. You know, um, it's subjective. But just know, more people are staying in this business. And the turnaround rate is getting lower by the day. You know, I'm gonna, I'm going to echo this point in more videos. You know, um, yeah, this is the thing. People aren't thinking in their client's shoes. They're not thinking in their client's shoes. All they're thinking about is their individual profit margins. You know, and they're thinking that that profit margin it's okay. And they're thinking with some customer service, good customer service, which does, and I concede, go a long way. But customer service in within itself don't pay your clients' bills. If they need food or whatever, they need money. It's as simple as that. So now, here's the video. All right. Please watch. All right. These are boxes that I've accumulated within the last two weeks. Now, these 40 boxes that you see here, I got these from one client, one woman who gets them every three months. Yep, every three months. Now, I'm not going to say what I pay for them or what my invoice is going to be. Why? Because there's a much larger point that I'm trying to make. Yeah, there's a much larger point that I'm trying to make. Um, yeah. Yeah, one client was for these 40 boxes. 
And I will say that I am really happy that, that I got her. All right. All right. You know, uh, in that video, like I said, I'm not telling you what I'm invoicing or what I paid for it. Because the major point that I'm trying to make is I put myself in her shoes. And with that many boxes, there's no way I'm going to let that slip through my fingers. There's no way. So now, if you come across something like that, offer 50% of what your wholesalers are paying you for whatever boxes you're getting. All right? I'm going to leave it here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, my name is Blair. And Momentum. If you're new, please hit the like button, subscribe, and notification button. So every time I put out a video, you'll know. And remember, you can't gain momentum without traction. You can't gain momentum without traction. You have 365 days to get it right. If you can't stop thinking about it, don't stop working towards it, all right? And on that note, until the next video, take care.